Oh, hello everybody. How's everybody doing? Hopefully you guys are doing well. I am super excited for today. Back to some racing action here for Revline. Boy, it's been a while, I feel like. It has been quite a while. That blow up the game, boom. I think we're getting everybody in here right now. Just waiting on everybody else to get back here. I see Skull left and changed his name to uh, a more recognized name here. <laughs> With all the tags on it. Uh, no more kick. No, I'm not doing kick anymore. I couldn't stay connected to uh, their servers. Like, I don't understand. Like, every time I went to stream over there, like, it would do fight in OBS, but I couldn't stay connected to their servers. And, I, you know, I talked with tech support many, many times, and it was just really annoying. I just got sick and tired of it. And then I tried a couple nights of it on YouTube, and I really enjoyed it over here. I, I do like it over here. Like, all their tools that they have are incredible. So it was really easy to set up and really easy to do. But uh, that's besides the point. But, yeah, I've been doing stuff over here for, for quite a while now, I guess. Otherwise, they don't know who I am. That is correct, school. That is correct. Hello, CMFT. <laughs> yes, Morgan, yes. <laughs> I see what you did there, yes. Hello, Heke. Hello, Naya. Hello, Kaifri. Uh, hello, Jay-Z. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today? You guys are stoked. I'm pretty stoked, man. We're uh, using a track uh, in the uh, KS Banger track. So if you guys want to check out this track uh, after watching some of the racing today, you can find it on the Steam Workshop, of course. We're also going to be using two custom cars, uh, one made by McCant, uh, which will be the Dragoon. It is a really, really nice car. And then, of course, uh, the other one made by Noodle, which is called the Torin Wagon. You will see here in just one minute. We're waiting on just a couple people to get in here so we can fill up the server and we'll be ready to go. I'm super, super uh, proud of everybody for signing up for this one. It's going to be a long one. Uh, the main race is going to be 50 laps today. That will be about a one and a half hour race. So that uh, that's going to be a long one for sure. There's also a, a 10 lap sprint race. Well, actually, let me just go ahead and read out the entire format here instead of just bouncing around. So the format will go just like this. We'll do a five lap qualification session, uh, which will be here in just one minute. That's the first thing we'll do. Uh, they'll have chances to put in their good lap times. We'll take those results and line them up for the 10 lap sprint race. Uh, we'll take the results from the sprint race and reverse the grid completely and line them up for the 50 lap race today. So that's the, the entire format, but it's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Hopefully uh, you guys are pretty excited about it. There's like a 15 second delay or more. Well, that's just how it is. How it is. Not allowed to stream anything on kick other than gambling and general degeneracy. You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Hello, Doogee. Long time no see, man. Where have you been? The only thing I hate about YouTube over here is I can't play music. Every time I play music, they will shut off the stream, which is kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. Even if it's copyright free, they just do not like music whatsoever. So I have to, uh, <laughs> I have music going on in my ears, of course, but you just can't play it while you're streaming, which is really, really aggravating. I'm just here in my skimpiest cheerleader outfit to support Naya. <laughs> I was wondering what you guys are talking about. Now I know. Hello, Denny. What's up, man? How you been, buddy? Hopefully you've been good, dude. I have been fantastic. I, I cannot complain, man. Life is good for me right now. Uh, April 17th is uh, the date that we are supposed to be done with the house. I can start moving in. So I'm really, really excited about that. I am going to go back to full-time streaming. I am going to go. Uh, it'll be Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'll have four days a week scheduled. We'll, uh, you gotta make your own music, yeah. So, uh, yeah, pretty excited. For the formation, please park next to each other with a space so Bob can see the skins. I agree. Let's do it. <laughs> Low five red blind racing. <laughs> Beats the race wreck too. Yeah, you're not wrong. I could do that. I'm just gonna have Jay-Z make, make me some music. That's what he's going to do. He said he would. You guys seen it, didn't you? <laughs> I'm in a Skippy cheerleader outfit, too, to be honest. Oh, oh yeah. We are almost ready. I think we got damn near everybody in here. McCant did join. I think we were missing one more. Little made it in. Uh, we're missing Killer. Bummer. I was waiting on kick for the stream to start. Sorry. I know I keep bouncing around, man. 
I've been doing uh, YouTube stuff, though, for about, I guess, three months now. I like it over here. I really do. <laughs> Jay-Z said, damn it. <laughs> guess I can go ahead and show you guys the cars. Um, Where is... What am I looking for here? Oh, there it is. Dragoon. So here's one of the cars. This is this is the one made by McCants. You can find this on the Steam Workshop under the Spicy Bangers mod pack. Got a lot of cool cars in this one. You'll see, I mean, you can see him as I scroll through here. He's done a really nice job on a bunch of them. And we also have the Torin Wagon, which is made by Noodle. You can also find it on the Steam Workshop by that exact name. Really cool. I'm glad to see these custom cars getting used because uh, a lot of time goes into these cars and tracks. So for them to uh, plan events around them, and get a bunch of people to come out and enjoy them. That is, uh, there's no more satisfaction out there than that right there. We'll say. Oh, so Tyrone is missing as well. Oh, no. Where is our Aussie friend? He's even got a custom skin and everything. Come on, man. Anyways, uh, I want to hear from you all. How, how are you all doing? How's life for you all? We don't do very many Wreckfest uh, events, you know, these days, so I don't really get to speak to you all very much. Other than, you know, Discord stuff here and there, but... Ready? Please stay still on grid. Easier than organizing. When bomb is happy, then DNF. Um, what are, wait, what are we doing? I am confused as to what we're doing right now. Robin needs to inform me on what the hell we were talking about. Hey, what up, Twisted? What's up, my guy? I have seen that, Morgane. I have seen uh, you doing some of that stuff. Uh, skin shirt. We can just show off the skins and qualifying. This is okay. Well, okay. Well, okay. Um, I guess I'm going to uh, look at all the cars. Oh wait, I guess I need to go to. I was not prepared for this. Just so we are all aware. I guess we'll start with Kira. Off Kira's skin. I have none of their information pulled up, so give me one second. Uh, Robin sent me something today. I have a little bit of information on each racer, but I'll have to scroll through here and kind of figure them out. So Kira is a 31 year old from Hungary. I did not think Kira was that old. You old man. Who we got next? We got Neo. I really like this skin. That looks really nice. Uh, let me find the information on Neo. Uh, 28 year old from England. So good luck to you today, Neo. Oh, everybody's getting kicked for being idle. This is all falling apart. There is Space Face. <laughs> we should have had a better plan. I'm just saying. Uh, I don't think I have any information on. Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, 49 year old from Canada. Good luck to you today, Space Face. Who else do we got? Uh, we'll go to Hoodlum next. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Why am I so zoomed in on Hoodlum? Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. Why is the wheels not rolling when he moves his car? Okay, now we're good. Uh, let me get some information on Hoodlum. I can't see chat right now. It's covered up. So whatever you all are saying, I can't see it. 23 year old from Canada. Good luck to you today, Hoodlum. We also have Denny. Where is Denny's information at? I mean, he's world famous. We should, we all should know him. He's just a racer from Denmark. So good luck to you today, Denny. What else do we have? We have Jay-Z. I know much about Jay-Z. He's a 20, 24 year old from uh, USA, so uh, represent us well today, Jay Z, please. Who else do we have? Michael Boobs. Where is his information? I'm scrolling. There's a lot of racers on this page. Uh, there's a 29 year old from Australia, so good luck to you today, Michael Boobs. Who else do we got? We have uh, the Rabbit. Uh, information, information. 
do not see it. Oh, there it is. He's a racer from the Netherlands. Good luck today. Did Tyrone make it in? I see his name in chat. Oh, no. Just kidding. He's just being talked about. Here is Twisted32. I know he's a driver from the USA as well. Uh, he is 37 years of age, so good luck to you today, Twisted. Who else do we have? We have Skull. Where is Skull's information? The 18-year-old from Belgium, which I do not believe. I'm pretty damn sure he's 16 years old, and he's always going to be 16-year-old. Uh, here is Time Traveler. I got any information on him. Uh, yes, he is driver from Germany. Good luck today, Time Traveler. Here is McCant, the maker of the Dragoon, the car that he is driving right here. Uh, he's a 31-year-old from Italy. Good luck to you today, McCant, and thank you very much for the car. Here is Ads Robin, the 33-year-old from England. Good luck to you today, Ads Robin, and thank you very much for putting all this stuff together, you and Heke and all the other Radmans over there. You guys are awesome. And here is Abu. I don't know if I have any information on him. I didn't remember seeing his information anywhere. Um. Oh, I do. I am wrong. Uh, he's a racer from Finland. Good luck to you today, Abu. Here is Naya. Naya, 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 Naya. Um, oh, wait, you have a different name on Discord? Okay, yep, here it is. Uh, driver from Finland. Good luck to you today, ma'am. Hope you kick some ass out there. Cheering for you. Uh, here is Stein. Running with a different name in here. I can't see chat, so if you all are talking to me, I apologize. Uh, he's a driver from the Netherlands. Good luck to you today. Here is, uh, I don't know who this is. I thought this was Tyrone, but it's just, uh, I guess it's Kaifri. Uh, the 26-year-old from Finland. So good luck to you today. You guys are moving around the grid. Now I can't keep track of who I've introduced and who I haven't. Here is Heke, driver from the Finland. We all know him, and we all love him. Good luck to you today, Heke. Here is Panzerwaffle. I'm looking. I'm looking. A driver from the Netherlands. Good luck to you today, Panzer. Uh, the twist that I've already introduced. I'm guessing that's everybody. Yes, DNF. Anybody that I miss, I'll try to do in um, qualifying. All right, now, I'm, now I can scroll back up through uh, chat and see what you all were talking about. Kind of stopped at Wreckfest myself doing F1 race leagues now. Um, I have not done much of the uh, Wreckfesting lately either. I did that uh, team tournament thing, but outside of that, I hardly ever play. But I still love it, so, you know, it is what it is. He wants you to do a grid walk kind of thing, showcasing skins. Oh, now I see. Okay. Someone's got kicked for AFK probably. Yep, you called that one. Hello, Pon Rafo. How you doing? Hello, Ryuski. Welcome in. And whoever uh, dropped the uh, sub, I appreciate you very much. These cars, I think all the cars look absolutely amazing. Like, the, the work that McCant does is incredible. And he does such a good job about making them look native to the game. You know what I mean? Like, they're not just, like, something, like, super clean and doesn't fit the game style. Like, they fit super well. So he does a really, really good job there. That's not an easy, easy look to pull off. Honestly, making a super clean car is much easier than making one that looks a little tattered and fits into the game. So, a nice job. Why are you stuck, Ponrafo? All right, so what we're doing right now, we are going to do qualifying. It'll be set for five laps. Um, we are using a mod called Qualification Mod made by St. Jimmy, so thank you very much, sir. Um, what it does is it allows the racers to reset their car, and when they do that, uh, they will have no collision between each other, so they can race around the track and not have to worry about bumping into another racer or ruining their uh, chance at qualifying laps. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. It's something that we uh, pretty much use all the time now. Help him, step bomb. He's stuck. I, yeah, I saw what happened to Pon Rafa. Yep, I saw. I saw. Just glad he's okay. All right. Robin has given the command. Everybody to your cars. Ready up. Let's do it to it. Qualifying incoming. Five full laps to get in a good lap time. This 
What's waiting on? Mr. D. And Space Face. There won't be much to watch here in qualifying, but we can watch the timing tower, which will be the most important thing. Remember, we're going to use these results to line them up for the 10-lap sprint race, which will be up as soon as this is over with. I will go ahead and bring up the standings over to the left. I will expand those once they complete their first lap so we can keep track of who's doing what. It will be in uh, in order. Uh, fastest time to the slowest, top to bottom. And there they go. They are off. They're zooming. Look how many racers in here. I love to see it. 21 racers scheduled for today. Yeah, man, it could have been so much worse. Like, his bike was destroyed. Go ahead and give you a little overview of the track so you can all take a look. It's absolutely gorgeous. There are a couple different layouts here. He has uh, this main route, and then there's a main route with a chicane, which is over towards that side over there. And then, of course, he's made some uh, different versions of them, like some rally versions of them. So, uh, really nice job, Concept Sketcher. This one's really cool. Beautiful. EQ out leading the way at the moment. He's going to get the first lap time, I do believe. Let's go ahead and take a little on board here with these, because we ain't got nothing else to do. We're just watching them zoom around. Here is Time Traveler. Oh, Tyrone's sleeping. Oh, man. Come on, Tyrone. They should be nearing the end of a lap here. Who do you all think will get pole today? There is an awful lot of fast people in here, but I'm going to have to pick EQ. Oh, it's Hiller's Trumpa? Where have you been, man? Good to see you, buddy. Oh, Noodle is here. Hello, Noodle. Just, drag, uh, just uh, bragging about your uh, sweet car you did here. All right, lap times are going to start coming in now. I will go ahead and expand this so we can look. Keep them up there. The heck, he's going to be the man out front. EQ, Mr. Mr. Didge. I don't even know how to say it. I've just been calling him Mr. Didge forever. Look at Michael Boobs on that 300 plus ping. Sir, you are insane. And uh, Abu, yeah, Abu's really fast too. I can see that. I'm going to say, I think EQ will get pole. I think Ads Robin will actually get second place. And then I think third place will go to Abu. That'll be my top three. That's how I think it's going to go. Ads Robin has been playing pretty consistently lately. He has been doing a little bit of dirty racing, but uh, I, think, I think he's going to be just fine. He's still really fucking fast. Guess we'll see. Maybe somebody comes out of the woodwork. I know Heke, he's fast. I can see him doing it too. Mr. J Mr. J? Oh, okay. That makes it easier. I love all the skins too, man. The skins look really, really nice. Here's neat. Look at Neo's skin. I love this one. I think this one's awesome. Really nice job. A little something on the on the hood too. Nice, 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 nice. Who else we got over here? Twisted Thirty Two's got a custom skin. Can't really see it since I got this uh, thing up, but uh, you know, who else we got? Panzer Waffle in a custom skin as well. Stop the count. EQ put in the first fast time. Everybody one uh, one forty six point four seven four. That is the time to be. Look at Abu putting in a nice time as well. One forty six point six eight two. Good enough for P2 on the grid currently. Put them with a nice time here. Locking down P3, 147.343. Still got a lot of racers to cross the line still. Uh, Denny's making his way around. Kira as well. And then adds Robin, of course, back there. We will see how it all works out. Uh, what is the deal with the class ratings being so different um to keep them a little bit closer because uh, the dragoon was smoking the torn wagon when it was uh, the same 
class, so they uh, split it up a little bit. Lots of testing, lots of testing. Mr. J putting in that third fast time now, 146.718. Nicely done. Let's see what Mr. Adge Robin can do here. Going to put in his first lap time. I think he went a little off track there. Just saying. Boom, going to cross the line, 146.899. Nicely done, P4 on grid. Kira with a nice time right now in the top five of 146.977. Nicely done, Kira. Fastest of the Torn Wagons, though, is Mr. Ads Robin. Fastest of the Dragoons is EQ. Let's see what he can do on his second lap. Does he improve? 146.474 does not improve. 0.525 that time around. Getting some uh, improvements, though, down throughout the grid. Man, look how close. Heke was one one thousandth of a second off his previous lap. Consistent. Ads <laughs> Robin lap time deleted. Exceeding track limits. <laughs> you can't always go by what's on my stream, though, because I am a little bit high pinged here. Twisted has quit. Okay. Yeah, 0.47 out of the gate is crazy. I agree. Absolutely insane. <laughs> TT's anti-track limits track. Yeah. <laughs> Seems some sparks flying there a little bit as he went over that curb. Must be a little bit rough on the edge of them. Just McCant making his way around. Face face. Yeah, I did see the, uh, the armor on these cars, yeah. Well, not this one in particular, but yeah, I've seen it on some of them. Like this one. Yeah, I'm guessing, yeah, maybe some more straight line speed. You can have a bigger motor if you got more weight on the car. Hello, Fakarin. Hello, Saparina. Does EQ improve on his lap time? He does not. 146.564 that time around, but he still holds the fastest. A 146.474 that nobody has even came close to yet. Mr. J did improve on his uh, second lap. Or third lap there. Nicely done, sir. To a 146.571. Took away that second spot from Abu. Still sitting in a pretty nice spot. 146. Point six eight two was his fastest time so far. Pretty darn good. Yeah, Rage quit 100%. Hello, Mason. How you doing, sir? Welcome in. It's a little bit different than uh, some Red Dead that we've been playing together. As Robin has not gotten to the top three. Now, damn it. Come on, Robin. Been bragging on you up here. I need you to take away that P2 spot. Got some familiar faces up at the top, though. Kira, Robin, Abu, Mr. J, EQ. Yeah, those are typical people up at the top of the boards. Oh, he did. Yeah, you're right. He did improve. 146.5 or 487. Very, very close to EQ's time now. Lion. Kira, nice improvement. 146.880. Good enough for P4 now. Hello, Satan. How you doing, sir? I mean, they're going as fast as they can. They're zooming. I'm excited to see how the sprint race works out. See if it's a exciting race. Since it's only going to be 10 laps. It's going to be a pretty long race. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. The 50 lap endurance is going to be super spicy at the beginning, too, with having a reverse grid from the sprint race results. Oh, boy. You're going to see some people trying to make some big moves at the beginning. I uh, haven't streamed on kick in quite a while, Satan. It's been about three months now. 
Um, I was having issues staying connected to uh, their servers over there. And I could not get a good answer from their tech support and got aggravated and said, fuck it. I'm out of here. Packed my bags and left. I hadn't been over there long anyway, so I didn't really have much to lose. It wasn't like when I left Twitch, it was such a hard decision. Like, kick, I was just like, all right, well, fuck y'all. See ya. I mean, everybody's got YouTube. <laughs> so. Yeah, Kira and Az do have this. Okay, Az Robin. That was creative. See if he improves on his last chance out here. Or if he's going to do his six lap. I don't know if he's going to finish his six lap or not. Nice improvement. Well done. 146, 778. Takes away that fourth spot from Kira. They had the same exact time there for just a minute. You've been having issues with Twitch? I don't know, man. I don't know what it is. That's why my kick, <laughs> kick stocks dropped. Yeah, I guess. Let's go and take an arm board with somebody. What do you think? Let's zoom around the track here with uh, this racer. Show us how it's done. See, some of the racers are done with their practice or with their qualifying session. Denny is done. 147.336 will be his final time. EQ is now done. 146.464. Nicely done, EQ. I believe you might have locked down on the top spot, Mr. J. That 146. Oh, 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 as I say that, he improves on his last lap and he will take away pole position. 146.462. Nicely done. How about that? That is nuts. I did not think he was going to improve on that last lap. Go ahead and take a zoom around the track with Ads Robin. He is on his last lap. Going to see if he can improve. <laughs> Big, bad, dumb, stupid blink effect. Oh, you didn't turn that off? Oof. <laughs> you all are gathering evidence. Why is that car going backwards on track? And now done. 146.708. Nicely done, Ed Robin. Locking down that second row spot, which I'm guessing we're going to do uh, three wide starts. I'm not quite sure, but it, nonetheless, nicely done, Mr. J. Going to have a uh, pole position there. 146.462. We'll have EQ starting alongside him. Nicely done, folks. So now we are done with qualifying. 10 lap race coming up here in just one minute. Yeah, the sidebars. He improved legit. Damn. We got him. Don't know if Twisted 32 is coming back. I guess we'll have to wait and see if he does. If not, we'll have 20 cars starting the race today. Now the fun begins, where the racing really matters. We are using the 24-point linear system, which means first place will get 24 points, second place will get 23, and it tears down one point per position all the way down to last place. No matter how many races we have, first place will always get 24. Yeah, that was really good effort there. 146.462. EQ with a 146.464. Two one thousandths of a second separate those two. Abu with a 146.682. Nicely done by him as well. They'll start on the inside of... Well, I'm guessing. I, I don't even know if they're doing three wide starts or if they're doing two wide starts. Guess what? We'll wait and see. I'm pretty sure, though, it's three wide starts. And it's go on. The game's go. <laughs> Twisted down a 145.9. Yeah, sure did, man. I think he quit to take it easy on everybody. He said, ah, oh, these people are just not in my league. I'm out of here. Too easy. <laughs> 139.69, yeah. Here we go, folks. Let's do it to it.
I am ready. Let's do it. And off we go. Our first green flag lap is now underway. Let's see what the three up front can do. If Mr. J can hang on, if Yuki Yu can uh, get it past him there in the first corner, if Abu can make a move there, start in that third spot on the front row. I can't even keep up with these cars. They're so fast. I am going maximum camera speed right now. Into turn number one we go. Who's going to lead it out? It's going to be Mr. J for just a moment, though, because here comes EQ. I'm going to try to keep a zoomed out view so we can see the most of the cars as we can. It's going to be a hard thing to do with them spreading out so quickly. But, uh, yeah, got a lot of four wide back action back here in the midfield. Oh, we got e uh, Heke and Jay-Z going off track. Jay-Z will clip the wall and stay there, unfortunately. That is a tough start for the man from the USA. Come on, Jay-Z, get back out there on track. Good thing about it is he'll start up front next race if he finishes back there in the, you know, in the, in the mess of things. Does look like Adrop and will take away that third position. Kira now threatening as well. Abu stuck on those curbs. Denny trying to make a move to the inside. We do have a three-car battle for the lead, though. Mr. J leading the way. EQ in that second spot. Adds Robin in third. Kira in fourth. And, oh, Abu and Denny get together a little bit. Abu had to get on the brakes and allow uh, Denny to uh, get that thing straightened up, headed in the right direction. But we are good. Everybody's still good. I like it. Uh, I'm not sure why Kaifer did that, honestly. That is a good question. Uh-oh, Abu going to get into Panzerwaffle there. Turn him sideways. It's a little bit off track. Abu going to lose some more positions there. A lot of jostling around four positions. Let's see what's going on for the lead up here. Mr. J starting to pull away just a little bit. Two to three car length advantage out front. EQ in that second spot. Edge Robin in third. Kira in fourth. And Denny running at your top five. They got a pretty big gap back to the rest of the field here. Panzer leading this big group of cars back here. He has Hoodlum, Naya, Abu, Rabbits, uh, Stein, and Tyrone all together. I'm guessing that's Skull, actually. <laughs> He's changed his name once again. I can't keep up. My camera's not fast enough. Oh, this is as fast as I can make the camera move. The cars are just too fast. I'm going to have to be strategic with the camera today. Maybe uh, stay ahead of them and try to, instead of trying to uh, catch up to them. Have a pretty good race right here, though. Panzer leading uh, Naya and is that... I think that's Hoodlum. I'm pretty sure that's Hoodlum. That is Hoodlum, yes. Now you're going to try to make a move to the inside in the right-hander. Not able to get the move done. Hoodlum going to have a pretty nice run on the outside there. And have a drag race down to the left hairpin coming up. Battle for the lead is not happening at the moment. Ikki's still on the bumper of Mr. J, but Mr. J looking pretty good in command. Adds Robin put a little bit of space in between him and Kira there. Hoodlum and Naya still side by side. Ooh, Hoodlum gets into the side of Naya. Going to go off track here a little bit. We'll lose a spot to Abu and maybe Rabbit here as well. Skull going to try to make a move to the inside. Just the slightest mistake can make you lose so many positions. Three wide battle there now. Hoodlum, Rabbit, and Skull all battling for that ninth spot on track. Here is your leader out front, Mr. J. We're on lap number two. EQ in the second spot. There goes Robin, Kira, and Denny. That is your top five. Pretty good battle right here, though. Hoodlum and Rabbit still side by side. Skull not far behind. Does look like Hoodlum will secure the spot. Nicely done, Hoodlum. Move up to that ninth spot. Got to, to cut through here all the time because I can't keep up. Starting to shake out here a little bit, though, so we can start focusing on position battles so I can get a little more zoomed in on uh, some of those see if we got anything going on there is Jay-Z he did recover he is in that last spot though got a lot of work to do let's go ahead and focus on this battle between who is that Abu and Naya at the moment let's go ahead and zoom in down there they're taking it on board here with Abu he has Naya right there in front of him put them not too far back Robin's still getting that rust off yeah running in p3 insane Oh, he's got a little company back here, it looks like. Let's go ahead and see who all is here. Okay, so here's Denny. Kira's a little bit closer to uh, Robin here, so we'll keep an eye on this. And we can keep an eye on the battle for the lead up front because Mr. J has lost some of that gap he had to EQ, and I think EQ's going to make a move here. And he is. To the inside he goes. we got this long straight stretch, though. Mr. J's going to be in a pretty good position because there's a left-hander coming up.
Nicely done by Mr. J there to hang on to that spot. I really thought EQ was going to have a little bit better of a shot there. How close is Robin back here? Oh, okay. He sounded much closer than what he really is. This is the last set of corners before we cross the start-finish line. On to lap number four we will go. Smooth, both of them. I think EQ might have a little bit more speed. Well, he does not. I thought he did. It looked like that. Guess not. What game is this? This is a game called Wreckfest. In my opinion, the greatest racing game of all time. <laughs> I love this game so much. Well, we'll have to focus back on that battle for the lead here in just one moment. Let's see what's going on throughout the grid. It does not look like any other position battles going on. Abu pretty close to Naya. Still not able to get by her at the moment, though. Rabbit kind of on the heels of Hoodlum. We'll have to keep an eye on that one. I really don't want to lose this battle for the lead, though. EQ with the fastest time as well. 146.528. Fastest on track. I like this game a lot. Just haven't had people to play it with in a while. Oh. Well. There's still quite a lot of communities out there still playing this game, so. What do you play on? Do you play on PC? Oh, you found it on Gilded? Nice. I play a lot of Red Dead on Gilded, so. A lot, a lot, a lot. Battle for the lead is not happening at the moment. Let's see what's going on back here. Take a ride with Abu for a minute. He's trying to chase down Naya. Gets a little bit closer each lap, but just not able to find the, you know, the right time or space to get the move done. Crossing the line this time will be on to lap number five, about halfway through. And then we got that big 50 lap race coming up right after this, where we will have an inverted grid based on these results. So if they finish just like they are right now, uh, looks like I'm guessing we're going to take uh, Kaifer's uh, retirement as a place. So I guess uh, Kaifer would start on pole. And then Mr. Dij, Mr. J, whatever we want to call him, he will start dead last if he wins this one. They scored points in both, though, so you definitely don't want to sandbag this one just to try to get a good result in the main race. Abu getting really close to Naya now. This is the battle for seventh position. PC, yeah? Oh, you're Alice! Okay, hello. Now I know who you are. Well, if you ever want to play, I have damn near every community that you could ever need. I am, I think I'm a part of most, if not all the big ones. Focus out the window after 10 laps at best. I was going to say 50 laps of racing. That's an hour and a half of racing. You know, an average of 144, like 146 a lap for 50 laps? Yeah, that's a long one. Mr. J still looking good up front. There's no close battle. Edge Robbins secured this third spot quite well right now. Got a bit of a gap up to EQ for that second spot, but he does have quite the advantage over Kira back here in that fourth spot. Denny rounding out your top five right now. Panzer in that sixth spot. Naya still hanging on to that seventh spot. Abu uh, was not able to get that move done, so settling for that 8th spot right now. Hoodlum in the ninth spot, and the Rabbit currently rounding out your top 10. He does have a skull hot on his heels, though. Have to see how this one works out. Skull make the move. I thought he was going to maybe take the dive into turn 1. Ooh, Rabbit gets on the curbs quite a bit there. Going to lose a little bit of speed. Skull not able to do much with it, though. Not Naya OP, 100%. Uh-oh. What happened to Stein? I don't know. Let's see how close EQ is to Mr. J. It's about the same amount of distance. 
Not much has changed up front. I do fear that when we get to that endurance race that the field is going to spread out by quite the margin. <laughs> Skull has lost his zoomer advantage. Yeah, I can't believe he's 18 now. I still think that's a lie. I'm pretty sure he's 16. Pretty damn sure. I am super, super excited for about the first five laps of the endurance race, watching the fast ones start all the way in the back and have to make their way through the field. Like, I know some people are completely against, like, the reverse grid thing, but I absolutely love it as the broadcaster. Hello, Ikea. Where have you... Where have you been? I haven't seen you in ages. All right, let's do a little zooming out here. We'll take a look around the track and see what's going on. Well, actually, hold on. We might have us a nice little battle here right now. Naya has caught up to Panzer. And Abu is right on Naya's hill. We got a three-car battle here for the sixth position. We got to stay here for just a minute. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I love drama and racing. Come on now. Come on. Abu seems to be on gear five instead of four. You think so? I haven't done enough testing in the cars to even be able to watch the tack to even know. Like I literally hadn't launched Wreckfest in two weeks, if not three. Tired from Wreckfest, no competition in the region. Yeah, it's tough for you, man, honestly. Hello, Phoenix. How you doing, buddy? Got a nice little enduro going on here today. We're going to have 20 cars on grid. This is the sprint race. It's only set for 10 laps. As soon as we're done with this one, we're going to take these results and completely do a reverse grid and line them up for 50 laps enduro. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I like it, too, especially on the sidelines. Yeah, it's so much fun, uh, like, not being a part of it. <laughs> I don't see much going on throughout the grid. Let's zoom out and see what's going on. Turn the name plates back on. Field very, very, very spread out. Here is Heke, Jay Z, Time Traveler, Michael Boobs. Who else we got? I guess the closest battles on track would be that uh, Abu, Naya, and Panzer battle. And then the battle for the lead up here, EQ and uh, Mr. Uh, J here. Guess we'll go ahead and take. We'll just go ahead and take an onboard with EQ here for a minute. See if he can work his way past the leader. Mr. J has led every single lap, qualified on pole. Stole it away on the last lap of qualifying, put in that fast time. Man, Mr. J just looks super consistent. I guess I didn't realize just how fast he really is. I'm not used to seeing EQ's name in the second spot. That's all I'm saying. We are winding down, though. This last set of corners are going to cross the start finish line. We'll have two laps left to go. Two laps left. Here we go. Can EQ get the move done and take away that top spot? He only got a couple laps to do it. He's running out of time if he is going to do it. Let's go ahead and check on this battle back here. Does look like Naya a little bit behind Panzer now. And Abu has lost a little bit of ground to Naya as well. The engine's winding down. I think they're at full throttle for most of the lap. Can't really tell by, you know, the tachometer over there, or the engine sounds for that matter, because it has been bugged for quite a while now. It seems like they are just holding it to the floor for most of the track.
Oh, very close. Nice set of corners there by Naya. Going to get right on the bumper of Panzer now. Another nice corner. I do think that I will be out drag race, though. Yeah, just a little. Ooh. These curbs are ruthless. See just how rough they are at the uh, transition of that to the track surface. Especially off the back side. Oh, I hear an engine. There it is. We should be on to the last lap now because I believe the leaders have already crossed the start finish line. Oh, getting ready to as we speak. Look how close EQ is, though. Might have a chance here. Just put in the fastest lap time of 146.2. Are you kidding me? That is insane. Right on the bumper, just a little, little bit of a kiss there heading into the corner. Oh, Icky's making the move. Here he goes to the inside on the last lap. Can he get it done? Come on now. Not able to do much with it right there. Going to have to tuck right in behind. Those of you that don't know much about uh, Wreckfest, there are no draft physics, so that does not give you much of an advantage at all. A 146.2 is a blistering pace. Like, that is incredible. I can't believe that. I'm just wondering, like, I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, like, these set of corners, I don't know where EQ is going to be able to make the move. Really running out of time. They're close, though. Super close. About a half a car length advantage. Good corner there by Mr. J. This is tight, man. This is tight. Oh, really nice corner there by Iki. You saw, you saw how much more speed he had, but he's only got a couple more corners to get it done. I don't think he's going to. Mr. J... I believe he's going to take the checkered flag here out of the last corner and down the front stretch we go. And yes, Mr. J is going to hang on to that top spot. Nicely done, sir. Going to bring home the checkered flag here in the sprint race. Does look like EQ will bring it home in that second spot. Adds Robin now coming across the start finish line to finish in the top three spot. Kira going to finish in fourth. And Denny will round out your top five. Nicely done, everybody. Remember, we are going to see a full reverse grid for the big race coming up here in just one minute. Uh, Panzer, Naya, Abu, Hoodlum. Ooh, nice drag race there. It uh, does look like Rabbit will uh, round out your top 10. Skull going to bring it home in 11th. Here is Neo to finish in 12th. 13th goes to Stein. 14th to Heke. Got a nice little scrap back here. Look at all these cars battling for the... Uh, what is this? Uh, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th. All together right here. Time Traveler going to finish in 15th. Space Face. Uh, Michael Boobs and then Jay-Z. Here comes McCant out of the last corner. Will cross the start-finish line in time. He's got 13 seconds. Get there, buddy. Get there. And race is now complete. So, Mr. J and EQ going to start in the back, along with uh, Robin, Kira, Denny. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> CMFT, you killing me, man. <laughs> oh, Michael Boob's skin is uh, absolutely hilarious. I like it a lot. I'll show you guys here in just a second while they're getting ready for the main race. Remember, 50 laps of racing coming up here in just one minute. It's going to be a long one, folks. Hour and a half of racing. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, is Wait, which one is Michael Boobs? I remember seeing the skin, but I can't remember what he's driving. He is in the Dragoon. Okay. Michael Bublé. It's fitting. Fitting. <laughs> I really like this one. I think this one looks really, really nice. All right. Nope. Get back in the best car in the game, the Gremlin. 
Yeah, now this is going to be wild. I think this will be this will be wild. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So it does look like um what's going on here. Not sure. I guess McCant will start on pole. I'm not sure if Kaifri is going to race in this one. We start in eight minutes, everybody. We got a little bit of a break here. If you want to get yourself a drink, some popcorn, because you just might need it for the first five laps. Could get quite spicy. Oh, time Trevor, why'd you quit? Rip. I did get a few clips. Let's see if I can get those to work. I think I caught the uh the action that happened to Jay Z there. Let me see if it'll if it'll cooperate today. Hey, there we go. I'm trying to see if I can see where something happened to Jay Z. Oh, this is it. Oh, I was a little bit too late. I did catch it, but I wouldn't. I didn't catch the clip of it. And that's where Abu got into rabbit. Oh, he's fixing a mod. Okay. Well, bummer. I was hoping I got it. I guess not. I <laughs> gotta do a race for Black Flag, too. I don't remember how many points uh, TT had, but I think he finished in 16th or 15th. Guessing he had 10 points would be my guess. Yeah, I don't believe Twisted 32 is coming back, unfortunately. <laughs> Black Flag 3, yeah, to prepare. <laughs> oh boy, I am so ready for these first five laps. How many points did Skull have? 14? Where is Skull? Number 11. Oh, he's got it. Nice. Uh, you're not slow, McCamp. These are just incredibly fast people. I, will, I always tell anybody that are new to these competitions, do not take any of this, like, personal if you don't do well because these are incredibly good racers. Like, <laughs> I would say, like, the events that you see between Revline, uh, Mantelin, um, formerly, you know, the WCZ, and then, like those, like, those groups of racers that have been playing this game forever are guaranteed to be the top five fastest people in this game. Like it's it's got to be, like you see them all over the leaderboards. You see them winning all all the stuff. So I would definitely never, <laughs> never, t never take a offense to uh, any finishing position against these people. Oh, I just opened a program. Why did I do that? Oops, fat fingered it. I know, Pon Rafa. I agree. I love to see uh, so many people get back together. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm the one with the least hours in top 10. Pretty impressive. <laughs> the goat's retired rip creator. 
I do, I do miss Creator. Creator was fast too, man. Please do not type in chat during the race. I agree. Now, Denny, don't, don't, don't discount. You are a professional racer. Literally. For a reason. <laughs> also, didn't go for more power because the sidebar just looks dumb as fuck. Hey, man, you gotta look good out there, you know? <laughs> Can't win with an ugly car. Hey, I like it, man. That's, yeah, that's true, Rick. That's true. Did we get all the racers back in here? Yes, Time Traveler is back. He does have his correct points. Good. We are ready. We are set. Two minutes, everybody. Two minutes, and then it's race time. How many laps will it take for Mr. J, EQ, and Ads Robin to make their way to the front? Make your bets now in chat. I'm going to say seven laps. Three? Damn. I hope not three. I'd like to see a little bit of some spice. You're probably pretty close, though. Damn, CMFT on the three train too. Damn it, man. What about everybody else? Somebody say seven with me so I don't feel so dumb up here, please. Yes, thank you, Rick. My man. Damn, Noodle go over 1.5, shit. At least two laps until EQSP wanted to listen. Oh, don't forget about Mr. J here. I know you enjoy smooth input, so if you, you want to spectate the battle for P17, feel free to hop on board. You got it, TT. Booze is going to win? No, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Skull's already, he's already retiring from Wreckfest. He said, I'm going back to ACC. I'm done with this. Skull said they drive more dirty there. I believe that shit. I have played a lot of a set of course at Competition, and I will say it does get a bit uh, bit dicey over there. All right, here we go. It's race time, folks. 50 laps of racing coming up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We start with how many? 19 racers. How many do we finish with? That's the next question. Also, how many racers do you think will be claimed by the barrier in the chicane? I'm going to say one. Only one. Hello, JR. Man, everybody coming out of the woodwork. Oh, I can guarantee that, Pon Rafa. Guarantee that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Less than 15. I, th I think we'll lose quite a few in an hour and a half race. I think you're probably right, Ryuski. All right, here we go, everybody. It's showtime. Oh, so, okay. So, Kaifer did make it on grid, but we'll immediately pull over to the side and say, go on by. Oh, Neo into the wall right here off grid. Oof. I'm going to try to catch up here real quick, then I'll open up the standings over there to the left. Go, little camera, go. So turn one looked actually okay. Oh, we got some damage going on. Denny's off track. He's going to lose a lot of positions, fall all the way back here to the back. Where did he go to? All the way back to 18th position. 
Who we got out front? Jay-Z out front. Let's go, boy. See if he can hold off uh, Michael Boobs there. That's the battle for the lead. Look at this battle in the midfield, though. There are so many cars right here. I bet there's 10, 12, 15 cars all right here together. Nice and smooth, though, through these corners. Got this a uh, little bit of a straight stretch. We got a left-hander coming up. AK trying for that second spot now on the inside of Michael Boobs. See if he can get that move done. Got a lot of three-wide action back here. A lot of beating and banging. Time Traveler off track. McCann off track. Uh-oh. Oh, Naya's off track into the barrier. Oh, no. A lot of racers. A lot of racers being put out right now. Going to fall all the way back to the back of the grid. Got a lot of laps to make their way back up through, though. PQ in ghost mode, 100%. Yeah, look at yeah, he's already made his way way through the field up to that fifth position already. Mr. J trying to do the same thing. He is up to tenth spot. Where is Ads Robin? Ads Robin up to P3 though. Nicely done by Ads. I told you these first few laps are gonna be a little bit wild here. And we are about to complete the first one. Does look like Jay-Z going to lead us in. Heke in that second spot. We have Ads Robin in the third spot. Michael Boobs in fourth. And EQ rounding out your top five. Abu up to the sixth spot. Skull in seventh. Rabbit in eighth. Denny in ninth. And Panzer Waffle rounding out your top ten. Yeah, listen, that's the thing with uh, Wreckfest. There ain't nothing you can do about it, man. We can't adjust those name plates. We, we have tried a million times. It is unfortunate. Michael Boob's off track. I don't know what happened to him. Gonna lose a lot of positions, though. All the way back to the 14th spot. It does put Ads Robin into that second spot. Heke in the third spot. Here is Iki right on the heels of Heke. Gonna try to stay ahead of the game now that we've kind of calmed down here just a little bit at least. Nice and smooth by everybody. Rabbit goes a little bit off track there. Gonna lose a little bit of speed. Ads Robin eyeing that top spot, though, right on the bumper of Jay-Z, which has led uh, the first lap in. Let's see if he can do it on the second lap. But here goes Robin. He will make a move to the inside. Not able to get much done there in that corner. EQ uh, taking a peek on the inside of Heke here. Got a long straight stretch. The Torn Wagon is really good on the straights, I feel. It looks to be just a little bit faster than the Dragoon. To the corner we go. Jay-Z still hanging on to it, trying to fight off Robin. Robin with a really nice run out of the corner, though. Acceleration of the Torn Wagon will prevail, and he will take away that top spot. AK still hanging on to that spot, but EQ going to try the long way around. Takes the outside route. Robin already put quite the distance in between him and Jay-Z. I think he's going to try to put as much space as he can, because he knows once EQ makes his way through the field, he's going to have his uh, sight set on him. Down the front stretch we go. Ad Robin will lead us on lap number two. Jay-Z going to be in that second spot. Heke in the third spot. EQ up to fourth spot now. And then Abu running at your top five. Got anything going on back here? Uh, does not appear so. Everybody's still pretty close to one another at least. You better enjoy it. These uh, endurance races seem to uh, string out quite quickly. So EQ did get the move done on Heke. Now working on Jay-Z. Abu trying to do it the long way around. He's going to be on the outside here. Almost clears Heke. Got a right-hander coming up. EQ going to try a little crossover move, and it does work. He does take away that second spot. we got a three-wide battle for the third spot right now. Jay-Z, Abu, and Heke all wheel-to-wheel -wheel as we head into the left-hander. Abu breaks late. We'll take away the position. Jay-Z stuck on the curb there a little bit. Gets a little bump from behind by Skull. Going to get a little out of shape and lose that spot to him as well. Got a three-car train coming right here behind him. Oh, Mr. J threading the needle and gets the move done. Nicely done by him. Going to take away that seventh spot. Uh, get his eyes set on uh, Denny there for that sixth spot now. Going to have a tough time defending. I got a feeling, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Denny's done pretty darn well so far today. This is all the top spots all right here together. All the way up to, what, 12th position is all right here together. Try to keep a little zoomed out here as best I can to follow all the battles. For those of you watching out there, I know uh, you all have your favorite driver out here. Mr. J right on the bumper of Denny as we head, in, uh, or head through the uh, last set of corners here down the front stretch. 
As Robin's still looking pretty darn good out front. EQ into that second spot now, though. Abu in the third spot. Heke still uh, trying to hold off Skull there for that fifth spot. Oh, I wish my camera was faster. Yeah, I was um, clearly dead wrong on that um, seven number. I think uh, Noodle might have been spot on. I think it was like one and a half laps or two laps where they were up there battling for the lead. Mr. J trying to make a move to the inside of Denny here before the sixth spot. He does have Heke and Skull right here as well. Might get a few positions out of this one. I want to check the lap times between those top two spots. All right, I think we've simmered down here just a little bit. We will go ahead and take an onboard here with Mr. J really quick. He's in the battle with Denny. Denny is right here in front of him. That is the sixth spot. AK and Skull right there in front of these two. Move to the inside. Is this the place he makes the move? I think Heike had to really get out of the throttle there. I think he got into the back of Skull. He does take away the position for just a second, but Denny bringing it in hot. Still side by side. I think these cars in front might decide this battle. Mr. J going to be stuck on the outside here. We head through the last set of corners. See how much speed he can carry down this straight stretch. Oh, somebody goes way off track up there. That is Skull. Not more speed than Denny at the moment. Little bits. That armor might make just a little bit of difference here. Yep, it will. He will take a peek to the inside through turns number one. Can he get the move done? He breaks. He lets off the brakes. He gets back on the brakes just in time to take away that position. Skull gets a little out of shape, and he is going to lose a lot of speed, and maybe this position right here, and he does at the moment. Oh no, Mr. J gets it to the back of Heke. And they both go off track there a little bit. Oh man, that is a tough break. I don't know exactly what happened there. I don't know if Denny was just into the back of him or if that was Rabbit. I didn't really have a good view there. I was looking uh, up above. That is unfortunate for those two though. See this battle for the lead out front. Lap time currently two tenths faster. For EQ right now. Yeah, that is an F in chat. If we can get those out there. That is unfortunate. You hate to see the top spots battling that close to one another. And uh, some people losing out. Had Robin still looking pretty darn good out front though in that touring wagon. EQ in the second spot. Here is Abu not too far behind. And here is Skull and Rabbit. Oh, and Denny. All three together. I think Panzer's pretty close too. Yes, Panzer pretty close. Eke didn't lose a ton of ground. Oh, what has happened? I think Skull ate the barrier. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, he sure did. He sure did. That is unfortunate for Skull, man. He was having such a good day. Well, that's going to move uh, Rabbit up to the fourth spot, Denny to the fifth spot. <laughs> that was a big F. Let's see what Denny can do here with the Rabbit. He's right on the bumper as we head into turn number one. Well, nice set of corners there by Denny. Actually closed in a little bit of ground. Not able, not able to do uh, much with that extra speed, though. Ran out of space. Hands are not far behind, waiting to pounce, I'm sure. Here goes Denny. Move to the inside. Rabbit going to take that wide approach. Got down to the inside and carry as much speed as he could. And he does. And hangs on to that four spot for right now. Panzer actually uh, gained quite the ground on these two with that little exchange. Oh, Panzer gets on the curb there a little bit too much. Going to lose a little bit of speed himself. Got a nice battle back here behind them. Look at this. We're on board right now with Kira. That is Heke behind. A hoodlum right here in front of him. The battle we were just watching previously is right here in front of these racers. I'm going to check on the leaders here really quick. Ooh, EQ right on the heels. 
Gonna try to zoom out here and catch all these battles. We got a lot of position battles on track at the moment. I think these three are far and above the rest of them though, and yes they are. I don't know how I'll be able to capture both, but we'll just have to swap back and forth. Keep an eye on it. I don't think much is going on for the lead at the moment, so we will focus on this battle back here. Panzer, Denny, and Rabbit all battling for that fourth spot on track at the moment. I'm not going to be able to keep up down the front stretch, so we will have to switch views here in just a minute. <laughs> Rabbit on the wheel. I doubt it. Oh, I'm not going to be able to keep up. Mr. J trying to make a move to the inside of Heke, and he does and takes away that spot. Up to the ninth spot now. I really hate that for him, man. You know, winning that sprint race, if he would have worked his way up through the field quickly here, he could have definitely been in a uh, battle for the win here today. But that's the way she goes sometimes. Rabbit still doing a nice job fighting off Denny. Battle behind him, though, is getting awful spicy. Panzer, Hoodlum, Kira, Mr. J, and Heke all together. What's the difference between the cars? Um, I mean, there's a lot of difference between the cars. Uh, focus on the battle for the lead right now. Um, so the Torn Wagon's a little bit better on acceleration. Uh, Dragoon is better on top speed. Um, so that's why we kind of decided to nerf the Dragoon a little bit and put it at the 225 rating to keep them as close as we could to one another. So it's all pretty much preference. Take a ride here with Panzer for just a minute. Trying to chase down Denny and Rabbit up there right in front of him. That's the fourth and fifth spot. Nice little group of cars right here behind him as well. On to lap number eight. My goodness. Ad's best bet is to back EQ into Abu and get them to fight and lose time. That's not a terrible idea. I agree, Noodle. I don't know if he can, though. Well, I guess Abu's a little bit closer than I thought. Okay, I thought he was a bit behind these two. Boy, EQ is all over the bumper of Robin right now. how this one's going to shake out. I really don't. I do feel like EQ is much faster, but finding the place to get the pass done is going to be tough because Robin is a very smart driver. <laughs> CMFT. Wreck EQ. Don't give yourself a penalty as the event organizer. Success. Oh, uh, that's funny. Well, Robin seems to have put a little bit of gap in between him and EQ now. Let's see what's going on back here. It does look like Denny did get by Rabbit. Dag on it. I missed the pass, but I had to focus on that battle for the lead. It was awful spicy there. Well, nicely done to Denny. Let's see what he can do now that he is in front of Rabbit. I felt like he was uh, much faster, so I do think he will pull away quite the... Quite the uh, margin here, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Currently on board with Panzer, running in the sixth spot. Let's actually take a little on board here with Hoodlum, which is right on the bumper of Kira. Getting through uh, the first set of chicane there. Mr. J going to make a move to the inside. They got tangled up there a little bit. You can see the signs busted on the inside there of that corner. It looks like somebody must have gone off track. Mr. J in a pretty good spot here. I think he might take that spot away and does for the moment. Can Hoodlum get back by? He cannot. Mr. J advances to the eighth position. Nicely done. Taking on board here with Kira. Going to get into the side of Panda there just a bit.
Ooh, Danny took a lot of curb there. Looked like he lost a little bit of speed. Nose to tail right here, fourth, fifth, and sixth. I honestly thought he would put a little bit more distance in between him and Rabbit, but he has not so far. Whoa, Kira carrying a ton of speed into that corner. Gonna reach to the inside is Kira. Not able to do much with it currently. Pick on the battle for the lead. Pretty good up front is Ads Robin. EQ in that second spot here is Abu in the third spot. Quite the margin over Denny back here in the fourth spot. Here's Rabbit, Panzer, Kira, Mr. J, all together. Panzer uh, tried to poke his nose out there a little bit and go to the inside. Does look like Kira will make the move to the inside in turn number one. Can he make it stick? Panzer's not giving him much space to work with, but he does get the move. Oh my goodness, I thought Panzer was going nose into the barrier. That was close. See if Mr. J can make a move here to the inside. Kira again gonna make a move to the inside here of Rabbit. See if he can get anything done with it. Gotta be on the outside though, a left hander coming up. Oh, Panzer gets a little out of shape. Gonna get a little bit of bumping and banging that right there behind him. Man, all kinds of stuff going on. Let's take a ride with Mr. J. He's kind of right here in the thick of things. Here goes Panzer, big move to the inside, trying to take two positions away in one corner. Not able to get it done and will go off track. I'll lose a lot of positions there. Unfortunate. Panzer are gonna have to recollect and get back at it. Do have a battle right here though. Hoodlum and Mr. J still side by side. Oh, gets into the back of Rabbit there just a little bit. Nicely done by Hoodlum. Nice patient move there. Gonna take away that spot for Mr. J. Battle for the lead. It's about the same. Oh. Oh, I thought Robin made a little mistake there. Looked like he lost a little bit of speed. Does look like the Dragoon is a bit faster on the straights. Will he make the move here into turn number one? There he goes. Moves to the inside. Who breaks first? Uh, about the same amount of time there, honestly. You're not going to force Robin off track. Gives him tons of space to work with, and Robin will hang on to it for now. That does allow Albu to catch up quite the margin, though. Oh boy, oh boy, it's getting spicy at the top. Sticking on board here with Abu. He's got the uh, best seats in the house for this battle. Well, now it's kind of calmed down a bit. We'll have to see when we get to the uh, closer tight corners. This is the part of the track that carries a ton of speed. Pretty nice job there by Robin though to defend all that. It was nice of EQ though to give him tons of space. He could have been a little more aggressive there in turn one. I think he might have got the move done. Got a long race ahead though. No need to even push the uh, envelope just yet. Man, that was a nice corner, man. EQ's got that last corner down pat. Again, carried a ton of speed through there. Let's see if the distance closes again like it did the last lap. I think he's a bit further back this time. I don't think he's gonna have near the shot he did last time. He might make something of it though, he does not. Nice speed by EQ there, though. Nice set of corners. We'll take a poke to the inside. I think that acceleration advantage will pay off for Robin here. We'll be able to hang on to that spot. Going to take a little bit more of a shallow entry to that corner than EQ, but he does park it right on the racing line, which will kill all of EQ's momentum. All right, 
right, we'll come back to this one here in just a minute. Let's see what's shaking back here in the midfield battle there. Does look like uh, Kira and Denny have pulled off into the distance. Denny, not much of an advantage over Kira, quite the margin. Build them a bit far back. Rabbit right here, Mr. J back here. We'll follow uh, Mr. J for just a minute. Trying to work on Rabbit, take away that seventh spot. There's Heke and Panzer right there behind him. Not much going on at the moment. See where EQ is. Pretty close. Abu not far back. Uh, let's take a look at the back of the field. Here's Stein, 100% health. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Kaifri, not Stein. Um, McCant, looking pretty good. Pretty close to Time Traveler. Michael Boob's back here as well. Does have quite the damage. 87 health, damage to the front of the car. Naya currently in the 16th spot. This is Stein. Stein's up here in the 15th position. Here is Neo having a very lonely race. Nobody near him. Space Face, also lonely race. Here is Jay-Z currently running in the 12th spot. Pretty close to Skull, which unfortunately had that uh, little incident there at the beginning of the race. Here is Panzer. Now we're into the top 10. We've been following him for most of the time, honestly. Oh, this is pretty close battle right here. I feel like EQ is a little bit closer than he was the last lap. I think if he can keep this type of distance in between him and Robin, he has such an advantage down that front stretch, I think he might be able to get by. Oh, Kyfrey has caught it today. And then there were 19 cars. I think he's going to be a bit too far back once again here for a look to the inside in turn number one. Have to wait and see. Rage cool. Trying to keep an eye on the distance between them. EQ going to run out of straight away. See if you can set him up once again. Does look like Stein has also called it a day, and then there were 18. Yeah, true, Noodle. Very true. Yeah, you can see that acceleration advantage right there. It absolutely flies out of these corners. Let's check on everybody else. Does look like Denny has called up to Kira. Battle for fourth position is on. Let's see the time difference between these two. Denny with a 146.7, Kira with a 146.5, so he does have a faster lap time, but does not look to be pulling away from Denny anytime soon. Ooh, Denny took a lot of curb there, lost a lot of speed. Yeah, I think you're spot on, Ryoski. I'll be honest. An hour and a half race is a very long time. Does look like Denny has lost a little bit of pace here to uh, Kira at the moment. We'll jump back to this one here in just a minute. Oh, this might be the time, folks. EQ very close as they head out of the corner. Check the distance between the two. I think it's right here is where the uh, speed advantage kind of takes over. And yes, you can see him starting to pull on Robin now. Robin going to defend to the inside. EQ going to have to try to make it work on the outside here. Breaks a little bit earlier than Robin. Nicely done. That's Robin. Holy shit. That was beautiful. Look how close Abu is now, though. Robin going to have his hands full. 
That was beautiful racecraft by Robin. Textbook how it's done. I think he knows that he can beat him out of the corner, so as long as he can keep him at least, you know, side by side, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Spicy, I tell you. Spicy. Man, I don't want to tear away from this battle. I need split screen, Bugbear. Give me split screen so I can watch two battles at once. Okay? That's all I'm asking. Uh-oh. 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 What happened to Denny? What happened to Denny? He's falling to the grid. He has ate the barrier, folks. Oh, no. F's in chat. F's in chat. All the way back to 10th position now. That will move uh, Kira and Hoodlum into the top five. Oh, man. That is a bummer. All right, EQ, nice last corner. You won't see the speed advantage till about right here at that building. You can start to see EQ starting to pull him a little bit. EQ not making the move here in turn number one. Oh, he does make the move. A little bit slotty action there by Ads Robin. That might be it, folks, and it is nicely done to EQ. He has now taken over the lead. Now it is up to Ads Robin to try to do the same. Nice acceleration. Going to be able to stay right on the bumper. Does take a peek to the inside here. See if he can do anything with it. Going to leave all the space in the world for EQ and not touch him. He does get a little touch there by Abu. Man, I hate that for Denny. I actually ended up falling back to 11th position overall. Yeah, I was going to say one tiny mistake was all it took. I'm like you, man. Holding on for 16 laps there. Pretty damn impressive. We'll see how he does against Abu. Here, uh, really far back. Not in the battle for the top three spot right now. Pretty spread out throughout the field here. We do have Panzer and Rabbit back at it. We'll watch this one because we we know this will be a good one. Ooh, peek to the inside there by Panzer. Not able to do much with it though. Last set of corners here before we head down the front stretch. Pick on Abu. Yeah, I figured there was a battle here with the uh, straight stretch. Does look like Ads Robin will pull the same move and defend his second position to Abu. Hang on to it for right now. Does look like Rabbit has pulled away a little bit here on Panzer, so that battle's kind of over. Heck, okay, having a lonely race here is Denny on the recovery drive. Up in that 10th spot has gotten back by Skull. Put a little distance between the two. Jay-Z currently in that 12th spot. Here's Space Face in 13th. Neo in the 14th position. Naya running out 15. We have uh, Michael Boos back here in 16. Time Traveler in 17th. And McCant running out the field back here all by his lonesome. Guess we'll focus on the Panzer and Rabbit battle for just a second. We'll kind of switch in between this one and the uh, Abu and Ads Robin battle. I think those two are the best ones on track, and I think Panzer has actually lost quite the margin here to Rabbit. And yes, he sure has. We'll just watch this one for a minute. Just taking on board here with Abu. We're not even at the halfway point, folks. Oh, boy. Let's see the speed advantage by Abu down the front stretch. Not going to be close enough for a move here into turn number one.
Definitely not. Did gain quite the ground on Robin, though. Going on back here. Anything? Looks like Panzer has caught up to Rabbit once again. Uh-oh, Denny is out. Denny is done, and then there were 17. Oh, Panzer's going to take a lot of curb there and lose a lot of speed and will lose a lot of ground in the process. Curb go burr. Oh man, bummer, dude. I was gutted when I seen you in the barrier. I said, oh no. You're doing so damn good, too. Yeah, the sidebars, man, it, it's making a big difference. You can see that humongous speed advantage over the torn wagon, too, down the uh, the long straight stretches here, especially on the front stretch. Like, once they hit that brown building on the right hand side, you can start to see. Just the pull difference between the two. See the ground that he's gaining on Robin now? Still not going to be close enough this lap, but boy, it is a big advantage. <laughs> Floor damage, yep, 100%. Abu very close to Robin here. This part of the track, though, I feel like the Torn Wagon prevails. All the turns and such with the acceleration advantage. Oh, does it? I did not know that. Now, I think Denny's just talking about the curbs in general. Just the curbs being smoother when you have the weight on the car. That's nuts. <laughs> Wreckfest physics be physic physics ink. Oh boy, that's hard to say. <laughs> See what Abu can do here with Robin. He is a bit closer this time around. Let's see what the difference is down the uh, straight stretch. Nice smooth corner there by Abu. See just how much closer he can get. I think he's still going to be two to three car lengths behind him heading to turn one. Not going to be close enough for a move. Is a little bit closer this lap than he was last lap though. Right here he usually gets pretty close to Robin through this corner. realistic as fuck. <laughs> what do you mean it's a proper sim? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wreckfest is life, basically, yeah. Ooh, really nice corner there by Abu. He's not going to be able to do much with it with that acceleration. Boom, there goes Robin. He's gone. Like he shot out of a cannon. Can't sleep sometimes because of it. <laughs> I can love you, Ponderapa. <laughs> oh boy. Damn, only on lap 20 out of 50. This is going to be a long one, folks. These racers are going to be tired at the end of this one. I mean, absolutely tired. Yeah, Noodle. 
Every corner. Every single one. 50 laps? Yeah. Not much going on here. I don't think it's... I think it's going to be about the same amount of gap in between the two as it was last lap. Let's go ahead and check out the grid here and see what else is going on. So got the Panzer and Rabbit battle going on. Doesn't look like much has changed there, though. Rabbit still leading the way out front. Going to go a bit off track there a little bit. And they're going to have an advantage for just a minute. But then the power of the uh, Dragoon going to kick in. Rabbit's going to pull away. Uh, Neo and Space Face pretty close to one another. That's the battle for 11th spot. We'll watch this for just a minute. I'm already tired and I'm not even watching, just listening. I don't, I don't think that uh, blue flags are uh, just yet, but we'll have to see. Well, here is McCant. Looks like they're heading to first set of corners. Where is EQ? Oh no, 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 no! They're pretty, pretty far apart. Oh, oops. ASMR channel win. Um, you know what? I'm not against it. So there's McCant and Time Traveler. They're crossing the start finish line now on EQ and them getting ready to head to the last set of corners. So quite the distance. I think by the end of the race, though, for sure. Uh, Mr. J and Hoodlum having a nice little scrap here. That is the battle for fifth position on track. I'll keep it up in the sky for a minute. Use a little drone cam. Getting a pretty good. I need to try to stay in a good position. EQ now putting in the fast time. A 146.268. Definitely still pushing that pace up front. Watch this drag race of the Dragoons down the front stretch. If Mr. J tries to make a move to this first uh, chicane here. Man, I even pre planned that and I still couldn't keep up with the cars. Man, they're just flying. Oh, Hoodlum made a mistake there. Mr. J actually going to get into his bumper there a little bit. Hoodlum went way off track. I thought he was actually going to hit the barrier. Mr. J making a move to the inside now. Let's see if he can get the move done. And he does at the moment. He clears, he covers, and he is done. Nicely done, Mr. J. Got to move up into the top five. Abu still not able to catch up to Robin. About the same amount of gap as it was. Let's see if we can find that rabbit and panzer battle. Here they are back here. Got to keep an eye on Hoodlum too, see if he can get uh, caught back up to Mr. J. Oh, rabbit has made a mistake. Oh my goodness, I thought he was into the barrier for sure there, but I think the panzer will get the move done. Nicely done. Takes advantage of that small little mistake there by Rabbit. We'll see what Rabbit does, though. See if he can get right back at him. Can't keep up. Rabbit going to take the dive into the corner. Not able to do nothing with it. Nicely done, Panzer. We'll defend and hang on to seventh for now. Nice corner there by Panzer. Actually puts a little distance in between him and Rabbit. We'll have to see what it does down the front stretch. That'll be pretty exciting to see. I know Panzer's going to do pretty good through that uh, next to last corner. And this one, it's a lot of nice drive down the front stretch. Let's go ahead and hop on board with Rabbit because I won't be able to keep up regardless. About right here. When Rabbit can start to pull a little bit of that distance in. Look at that distance he just closed in on. Rabbit going to try to keep that thing as straight as possible to carry as much speed as he can. Abu still trying to chase down Robin out front. EQ is gone into the distance. All by his lonesome out here. 146.268. Quite the distance. Uh, Mr. J has pulled a lot of distance between him and Hoodlum now.
Yeah, I, I do forget that Panzer is a keyboard player. That's absolutely insane. Let's watch that steering wheel work. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, the reflections. <laughs> Tripping me out, man. Yeah, that's pretty insane. Keyboard player this fast. Pretty darn impressive. Uh, let's go with... Face far. Trip on acid, yeah. Well, this time by, we'll officially be at the halfway point. What a day of racing, indeed. Did a few laps, my best was a 47.7. Still pretty darn good, man. Rabbit has way behind Panzer now. I guess the Space Face and Neo is pretty close. Jay-Z and Naya are pretty close. Besides that, there's not really much going on. Go ahead and take a ride here with Space Face, trying to chase down Nia. There were a lot of practice hours put in from some. It's all on Reckless Server Tracker. Four hours? Oh boy. Oh, at a time. Oh my goodness. So they were doing long sessions. I did four hours of practice and I'm not even racing. <laughs> yeah, why aren't you racing? Ooh, that was a pretty nice corner there by Space Face. We'll close in that gap to Neo by a margin. Another good corner there by Space Face. Not able to do much with it. Oh, Max drinking with you? That sounds good. Good reason not to race. We're going to be pretty close to Robin here. I don't know if he's going to be able to do much with it, though. It's right on the bumper. I do believe that EQ has caught up to some lap traffic. Here has, has McCant right here in front of him and Time Traveler. Yeah, just now halfway through, yes. Oh boy. It's this awful YouTube chat as well. There's an emoji that hovers in front of the chat for me. Oh, you're talking about the one that you can do this with? It kind of hangs over for me too, honestly, but I have a way to manipulate my chat so I can see stuff. 
like in OBS. Still quite annoying, I agree. I kind of like that feature though, I'm not going to lie. I do wonder if this lap traffic is going to shake things up a bit between the battle uh, between these two. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Can't gonna be right here in the thick of things, but I think we'll get out of the way for these racers. Well, almost. I did not know there was a camel emoji. Ah, <laughs> that's awesome. Greg Robin does clear now. And so does Abu. Rabbit still not able to get back by Panzer. Skull and Heike having a pretty good little scrap here for the ninth position. Space Ace and Neo still pretty close for 11th. And not much else is going on. on board here with Abu. Uh-oh, folks. The yawns are setting in. I can't stop yawning. Pretty smooth corner there by Abu. Lap traffic right up ahead. That is Time Traveler. Man, that transition on the curb there. You can see the sparks fly every time. Must be pretty rough. I've never perfected this um, target cam. Let's try it out. You know, it ain't terrible. It ain't great. I can't keep up with the cars anyways. I thought it would drag the camera along a little bit more, but it does not. See? There they go. There they go! I can't keep up! Well, we tried. Yeah. Oh. Hello, Marquis. Uh, we are good, man. It's been a pretty good day of racing so far. Um, Mr. J had the fastest time in qualifying, and he did quite well in the sprint race. Then we reversed the grid, and he got into an accident, so he's back in fifth position. Uh, EQ's had a very good day. If things finished like they were right now, he would be champion. Uh, Robin's also had a really nice day. I think if uh, things finish like they are right now, he would take second place, and Abu would take third place, and Mr. J would finish in fourth, I think. I could be wrong there. 
I haven't really done the math myself, but uh, overall pretty good day. We did reverse grid for the main race here. Fast ones had to make their way to the front. It did not take them long. About two laps and they were all the way up to the front of the field. And they've been battling for positions ever since. Denny was having a really good day. He uh, got caught on the curbs and into the barrier he went. So it kind of ruined his day. Overall, pretty damn good day of racing though. Got about 21 laps of racing left here. It's It's been a long one and it's going to be a long one. But we're chugging right along. Now the real question, how are you Marquise? There's, there's no blue flag, but we got Finnish flag, nice. Red flag, nice. Black flag. And French flag. <laughs> Why no blue flag? Damn it. Oh man, that was a nice set of corners by Abu. Not close enough though. I really like that paint scheme on Robin's car. It's a good looking paint scheme. Good. Nothing too crazy to report at the moment. Well, good. It's always a good thing. Let's focus uh, on these other battles. How is Rabbit and Panzer battle? About the same. Skull, is he closer to Heke? No, that's about the same. Space Face, is he close to Neo? Or Neo? Uh, Neo has pulled away a little bit. I don't think there's any other battles, honestly, on track. So I guess we'll just stay on track with Abu. See if he can get by Ads Robin. They've been going at it for quite some time now. Does look like EQ has checked out up front. Oh, Kira into the 46.4. Is he? Oh, nice. Yeah, 46.455. Five. Yeah, I would say that's probably one of, one of his better laps, if not his best. Oh, that's my can't. I thought there was a battle right here. Dad, it. I got excited for a minute there. Skull and Heke still having a pretty good battle. It's the only problem with these endurance races. They do get a bit of a lull after so many laps. On, says the touring wagon. See you later. <laughs> Does look like who is that? Michael Boobs getting out of the way for the leaders. Nicely done, sir. This Jay-Z will be up next at some point in time. We've only lost three racers, though, which I'm pretty proud of so far. Figure we'd lose a lot more, to be completely honest. Abu setting good lap times. 46.8 last time by, 46.6 this time by. <laughs> yeah, best name of all. 
How close is Mr. J to Kira? Not very f close at all. Hoodlum heading into turn one. Panzer way back here on the front stretch. Rabbit a very good distance behind now. Golden Heke still pretty close. Space Face has lost all kinds of ground to Neo. That battle's kind of over now. Naya out of the last corner. Jay-Z into the last set of corners. Not much doing. I wish this bug was fixed where the engines weren't constantly wound out and the tachometers worked correctly. That would be great. And Abu gets so close every single lap right here in this section of the track. Not close enough, though. Nah. At this point, uh, Marquise, it is not a bug. It is a feature. <laughs> I've heard that wish like four years. Yeah, no, no shit, man. I agree. Yeah, honestly, I don't even know how long it's existed. I want to say that it wasn't a thing before the console update in 2018. But I could be wrong. I don't even remember. Like, I wasn't broadcasting, like, big time, like, a, you know, like, heavy into it back then. So I don't, I guess I never really paid attention. I know it was never in spectate mode. So I can't really blame it on that. I don't know. I don't know when it was presented. I would love that, Noodle. That would be sweet. Like, there's so many things I wish we could mod in this game, but we just can't. <laughs> that sounds about right, Von Rafa. All right, let's focus on something else. We'll take a long ride here with Skull, trying to chase down Heke. Oh, Skull could have a pretty nice opportunity here. You see Heke pull away for a minute, but Skull is going to Pull him in just a little bit before we get to turn one. Not enough. Oh, Skull bringing it in hot. Gets into Heke a little bit there. Nice job of getting on the brakes, though. Lap number 34 out of 50. I thought Jay-Z and Naya were a little bit closer than this, but I guess not. How about Mr. J and Kira? They're getting a little closer to one another. Mr. J's reeling him in little by little.
Maybe by the end of the race, those two might be closer to one another. Yeah, nothing else really going on. Abu about the same distance between him and Robin still. Get back on board with Skull here, trying to chase down Heke. That's a pretty corner there by a skull. Well, since we don't have much going on at the moment, let's have a little chat. If there ever was a Wreckfest 2, what would you want to see different about Wreckfest 2 to this one? Who has high ping leader is 100% Michael Boobs. He's up at 320. He's been there the entire time. Incredible. If I had one wish, if they were going to make a new game, it would be better spectator modes. Like more tools that I could use to make broadcast a little better. Like in other games, they just have so much better stuff, like better camera angles that you can manipulate and stuff like that. And like APIs that we can access so I can pull data from the game to display on stream like top fives and points battles. Like we could do proper championship battles. I mean, I guess we still can now, but it would just be much easier if we could pull that kind of data. That's what I wish. Cross-platform? I do not hate that idea. I think that is an excellent idea. Slipstream, I do. I would like a touch of Slipstream, but they got to be smart about it. I don't like, in some games, how Slipstream is just absolutely out of the water. Like, you you shouldn't be able to have a five-second advantage with Slipstream in some games. You know what I mean? But a little bit of an advantage, especially on these, like, bigger tracks, man, that would be, that would be something else. I don't ever want Nitro. I don't want, you know boost of any kind i just i can't stand that in games i just myself that's just personal preference i know a lot of people enjoy that kind of stuff but i don't i, don't, I wouldn't want that ghost driver for pb chasing excellent idea i love that idea too they haven't even added more dlc since the last update nothing to get excited about yeah I get that. Like those are just some of the features I can think of like right off that, man, I would just love to have. And of course I'm gonna say I want, I want split screen in spectator mode. I've been yelling for that since I started broadcasting because I really want like the, the tools to be able to watch two battles at once. That would be sweet. My God, CMF2, you killing me? Raid an RS2. Oh my God. Hey, this is a, this is a pretty good chance here for Skull. Had a really nice set of last corners there, almost side by side, heading down the front stretch. He will have the advantage towards the end of the straight here. Let's see if he can do something with it. Here goes the pull. See who breaks first. Skull, but it's about the exact same time, honestly. Skull will take that spot away. That was beautifully done. Nicely done, Skull, but Heke will have quite the advantage here through the tight corners. Let's see if he can come right back at him. Oh my gosh, Skull is typing and driving. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, don't kill Heke. Does look like Skull will hang on to that position. Nicely done. Well, 
let's take it on board here. Let's, okay, see if he can come right back at him. We've got a little bit of lap traffic in front of these two. Oh my gosh, Skull. I thought Skull was going to eat the barrier. Honestly, better spectator would be such a good way to advertise the game without having to do too much. Yeah, true. That is true. Like, like if you if you'll see like some of my, like just look through this YouTube channel like after this race, and like see some of the tools I can work with in iRacing. racing. Like I can display driver information, and like custom pictures on it and stuff like that. But I have to have access to the API to do that, and I, you know, we don't have that here. Oh, okay. It's a little bit of his nose cut off there by Skull. Oh, I think Skull didn't feel good about it. Gonna let him by. And now we're back to square one. Alt track editor, that would be also really, really sweet. I didn't even, th why did that not even cross my mind? Yeah, track editor wouldn't be huge. I mean, absolutely huge, man. Like, cause then it's the replayability Cause there's just a lot of people that stop playing because they're just tired of the same tracks and the same cars all the time. So a track editor that people could just fuck around with, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Even if you could only make, you know, flat tracks with, with tile pieces, you know, like pre-cut or pre-fab pieces that you could just piece together. That would be humongous. Yeah. Better mod integration altogether. Yeah. Something like BeamNG has. You know where you just click on a server and it downloads all your mods and that's done? Yeah, man, that would be super sweet. That's true, Pon Rafa. That is very true. Excellent, excellent ideas, everybody. Nicely done by Heke there. He did take that spot back and has pulled away a little bit here on Skull. Battle between these two still really close. Abu and Ads Robin running out of time. About 11 laps left to go. Boy, what a day. Didn't hear a thing. Maybe it's an AI car in here. I feel like that makes it no difference. <laughs> True Pon Rafa. He has, man. He has been in a battle all day long. Him and EQ had that really, really nice battle for the first 16 laps. That was uh, incredible. Incredible. He's done a really good job holding off Abu here because Abu has been really, really fast too. Time difference? 46.4 for Abu and uh, 46.6 for Robin. Hello, Pam. I'll give you I'll give you some hearts. There you go. Welcome, 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 welcome. Finally starting to wind down on this one, folks. Ten laps left, and we will be done for the day. Been racing for quite a while here. By the time that they are over with and done, they will have raced for 1.5 hours straight. Cross-platform network stability would rely on two hamsters and a wheel knowing bugbear, yeah. Uh, Kira and Deesh, uh, I'll take a look. Ooh, good call out there, JR. We'll watch this one for quite a while because I know Mr. J is a faster than Kira right now on track. Man, a 46.296 for Mr. Mr. J here. Man, that's close to EQ's time. 
296 for Mr. J and a 268 for EQ. Man. Yeah, Kira's gonna have a tough time defending this one for so long, but being in the same car, same advantage. Guess we'll have to wait and see. We will have to wait and see. I kind of want to see where Mr. J is gaining on Kira the most. That last section of the track there, Kira actually looked a little bit better. 46.6 this time by for Mr. J here. Yeah, that's right, CMFT. That was a good call out by him. Got quite a bit of time to to get this move done, so Mr. J doesn't have to be super aggressive here. It's good to see Kira back racing. Kira took a break for a little while there. Always super, super fast. Let's see something. It looks like Mr. J is on. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess that he's on a controller. Just by the, based on his inputs. Let's see if I can tell by if Kira's still on the wheel. Yeah, I do believe Kira is still on the wheel. Look how smooth those inputs are. Yeah, I do believe so. Really wonder how would Moffel perform in this event, to be fair. Uh, I think he would be in that first or second place category. <laughs> Moffel is not too old, Jesus. Moffel is a youngin'. I don't think Kira is on controller. I'm pretty sure Kira is on keyboard or on a uh, wheel, but I could be wrong. You could be right. I don't know. I'm going to leave it to you, Nack, to investigate. We're going to need a for sure answer. Mr. J on the bumper, man. I don't know if he's going to have enough time to get the move done because it's so hard to pass around here. But he's definitely not going to make it easy on Kira. Just wanted to check on that gap there. I thought Mr. J was going to be late on the brakes. Oh, well then I'll just, I'll sit down. I apologize, Nack. On control. It's a pretty good set of corners there by Akira. Pulled away just a little bit from Mr. J here. Yeah, so, so far, I'm seeing that Mr. J is just a little bit better in the first section of the track. And then that last section is when Kira puts on the, puts on the boosters. Rabbit is not close to Panzer. About Skull and Heke. Oh, they're still spicing it up back here. <laughs> Unforgivable mistake. Uh-oh. Unsubbed. Gone. What do we got going on up here? What is this? See McCant and looks like Time Traveler mixed in here. I do see Neo and here is Naya. Who's that in front of them? 
Is that Space Face? It is Space Face. Oh, we got us a nice little battle here. Okay. Neo trying to chase down Space Face. Naya has Time Traveler in between her and Neo. Oh, 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 oh. Skull and Heke swapping positions there for a minute. Hey, Ads has been doing incredible, man. Doing a really good job. <laughs> Naya, yeah, papaya. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, you seen that too? Uh, what were we watching? Uh, Mr. J and Kiro. Kiro trying to break the draft. One out of line. Ooh, what speed carried by Mr. J there? Skull and Hickey about the same. This is McCant right here in front of Naya. Naya makes her way past. Set sights on Neo and Space Face. Let's see where Abu is compared to Robin. About the same. Robin's still looking pretty solid in that second spot. Cooling the engine, yeah. <laughs> I think this section of the track right here, though, is when Kira really turns it on. But we'll see. It only takes one mistake. We've seen that. Ponrafo, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. See the distance that Kira puts in between uh, himself and Mr. J? It's really good at the end there. Heading into lap number 45, folks. We're getting there. Six laps left. About this battle. Neo right on the bumper of Space Face now. Naya not far behind, so I think if these two get tangled up for a minute... They get pretty spicy. I see Skull and Heke once again swapping positions. Looks like Heke will prevail. Neo going to be alongside Space Face there heading into the corner. We'll take the wider approach. Try to do a little crossover move. We'll have that acceleration advantage. Yeah, I'm super impressed, JR. I cannot believe we still have 17 people running laps. Super long race. Well, in Wreckfest terms, anyways. Man, Naya had a really good corner there, turn one. Look at the space that she closed in here. Oh, boy. Naya flying. Neo might have to switch from uh, offense to defense here in just a minute. Another good corner by Naya right there. Man, look at that acceleration though. Gone. Battle's pretty close here towards the end of the race.
<laughs> Fraud. Good corner right there by Naya. See just how close she can get to Neo here down the front stretch. I don't think she's going to be close enough for an attack. She was really, really good in turn one last time. I agree here. I ask it. Oh, no! Oh, I saw it, and that is it. Naya into the barrier. Oh, the time traveler going to get into the back over there a little bit. That is unfortunate. We need Fs all over chat right now. <laughs> oh man. Heart broken. I really did not foresee Naya going into the barrier there. It's a small hiccup right on that uh, curb. <laughs> it's all because Morgan is the quietest cheerleader in the world. <laughs> you know, I'm going to say this, and it could be wrong, but it didn't happen until Usha showed up in chat. Just saying. I'm kidding. It's because I had the camera on her. It's my fault. Commentator's curse. 100%. See if Space Face can make his way back by Neo. I don't think he's going to be able to. <laughs> uh, sorry, Usha. I'm kidding. Will Mr. J get by Kira? That is the big question. Abu does not appear that he has found a way around Robin just yet, and I don't know if he's going to in time. <laughs> it does happen every time I show up, yeah. I, I I thought Mr. J was this close to Kira for quite a while. Could be wrong, though. Uh, would this battle between these two change anything for the final standings? I mean, it's going to help, uh, you know, uh, Mr. J, but I don't think it's going to secure the win at all because EQ finished second place in the sprint and taking a win here automatic win but you know for those second third fourth fifth positions you know it could could change quite a lot hello Brianna I don't know I don't know I didn't really do the maths you know the math wasn't mathing before this race so I don't know Guess we'll see as soon as it's over, because i got a feeling these racers are going to be absolutely whooped having a race this long. Well, let's take a little peek around the track right now. Abu, about the same distance up to Robin. we got two laps left. Two laps left. If he can get it done, he can get it done. Not well done to Robin. He has done an excellent job today. Skull and Heke still having a pretty good battle. Space Face has lost touch with Neo by just a little bit. I don't know if he's going to catch up to him in time. And of course, Mr. J still chasing down Kira. Um, I, I, I know. I know it's Teapup. 
Your name on YouTube is Brianna. So I call you Brianna. I don't know if if Mr. Uh, J is going to get Kira. I really don't. I think he's just going to run out of time. But then again, I mean, he's been this close to Kira for quite a while. And maybe just Kira is just too damn good today. <laughs> oh, no. Naya says it was Usha's fault. Rip. <laughs> it just says, what, what is reality? How are you typing and racing right now? Hey, man. He's a jack of all trades. She can do all kinds of different stuff. Not seeing any other battles. Skull and Heke have been at it the entire race. EQ taking the white flag folks this is the last lap EQ took the lead on lap number 16 and has led every lap until now has quite the advantage over the man back in second place Mr. Ads Robin which has raced an incredible race himself led those first 16 laps and held off EQ for quite a while and now he's been in a battle with Abu ever since and has done a nice job hanging on to second but Abu is pushing the pace quite a lot right now, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. There is a lap car in front of them. That is Jay-Z. <laughs> yeah, maybe so, CMFT. Man, will Abu get the move done? I don't think Mr. J is getting the move done on Kira, though. Who's the driver of the day for me? Um, Ads Robin. I mean, he may not win this whole thing, but he did such a good job defending EQ for the longest time. And then he's done an excellent job holding off Abu. The surprise of the day for me would be Mr. J. I did not realize the incredible amount of speed that this man has. So I'm pretty blown out of the water. Nicely done by him. I think Ads Robin, but defending there, just incredible. Nicely done to EQ. He has now crossed the start finish line and he will win today's race. Nicely done to you, sir. As Robin going to cross the line in that second position on very high ping right now. He might disconnect. Uh, yep, I think he's going to disconnect. Um, Abu is going to finish in that third spot. Incredible race by him. How did he get by? Wait, what? Oh, wait, yeah. Um, Kira is going to finish in that fourth spot. Mr. J is not able to get by Kira. So we'll round out your top five. Ludlum going to finish in that sixth spot. Very impressive performance by him. Panzer Waffle. We'll uh, finish in that seventh spot, it looks like. Coming out of the last corner now. Heading down the front stretch across the start finish line. Rabbit going to finish in that eighth position, it looks like. Heke and Skull, I don't know how they're going to finish up. We got nine seconds left. Could be who passes who here at the end. That's pretty darn good, Naya. There you have it, folks. Nicely done. Go ahead and take a peek at the final points here, if it gives it to me, before we have to do track boating. And I cannot see, but yes, EQ will bring home the championship today, folks, with 47 points. Adds Robin will be second place with 45. Mr. J is going to be in that third spot with 44 points. Kira with 42 points will finish in fourth place. And rounding out your top five will be Abu with uh, 39 points. Uh, Panzer with 37. Hoodlum with 35. Rabbit with 32. Naya with 29. Tied with Skull with 29 points as well. We'll round out your top 10. We have Heke, Neo, Spaceface, Jay-Z, Time Traveler, Michael Boobs, McCant, and then the others that quit the race. 
finish behind them. So nicely done to everybody today. Good stuff. Thank you very much to uh, Ads Robin and Heke for uh, putting all this stuff together. Appreciate you guys very much. And of course, the racers themselves, you are the most important part because if you weren't here, we wouldn't be here. So thank you all very much. Everybody over in chat, thank you so, so much for being very active today. It makes my job very easy whenever you all are here to chat with. So appreciate you guys very much. I do have a few clips from this race that I will go ahead and show. And then after that, we will end the stream and we will be done for the day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. But uh, yeah, good group effort here by everybody. Thank you all very, very much. And uh, I guess until next time, I love you all. I mean it. Enjoy the clips and I'll see you next time. And he does at the moment. Oh no, Mr. J. Gets it to the back of Heke. Heke didn't lose a ton of ground. Oh, what has happened? inside trying to take two positions away in one corner not able to get it done and will go off track i agree here i ask it oh no oh i saw it and that is it naya into the barrier so okay so kyfer did make it on grid but will immediately pull over to the side and say go on by oh neo into the wall right here off grid you look at this battle in the midfield though there are so many cars right here i bet there's 10 12 15 cars all right here together out of michael boobs see if he can get that move done Got a lot of three wide action back here. A lot of beating the bang of time traveler off track. McCann off track. Beating the bang of time traveler off track. McCann off track. Uh oh. Oh, Naya's off track into the barrier. Bump from behind by Skull. Gonna get a little out of shape and lose that spot to him as well. Got a three car train coming right here behind him. And he does at the moment. Oh no, Mr. J. Gives it to the back of Heke. Heke didn't lose a ton of ground. Oh, what has happened? inside trying to take two positions away in one corner not able to get it done and will go off track i agree here i ask it oh no oh i saw it and that is it naya into the barrier so okay so kyfer did make it on